Hey, what's going on? It's Jason, and I'm going to walk through this app that I built. Um, but first, I'm going to make a phone call and show you how the app actually works on the phone. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hello, I'm the Congress Oracle. Tell me the first and last name of the senator you are looking for. Tammy Duckworth. Tammy Duckworth, a senator and a representative from Illinois, born in Bangkok, Thailand, March 12, 1968, graduated from President William McKinley High School, Honolulu, Hawaii, 1980. So I'm going to cut that short, but basically that's a phone number that's been assigned to this voice user interface. Um, it's pulling information from a database. Um, I can also use it um, on uh, as a kind of a chat bot or a web bot. Um, so if I tell it hello going to prompt me and ask me for the first and last name of a senator. So let's go ahead and say John McCain asked this weekend. So you can see we get a short bio um, or a long bio for John McCain. Um, let's do another senator and let's say Tom Sass. I think that's his name. Oh. If um, this is pulling from a database that we'll look at in, in a couple minutes here. But if there's no, if the value is not in the database, it'll pull a null. <clears throat> but if the value is in the database, we get a short bio. So let's take a look at the database. So this database, um, I've created this database from scratch using a data set. Uh, each of the senator's names represent a key. Within that key, we have a short, or well, not really a short, but a lot of statistical information. Um, so we have a key for address, biography, class. The class of senator that this particular person is, the contact page, date of birth, so on and so forth. Excuse me. So this was created using a CSV file and um, created some JSON trees so that we have all the senator information, so that we have all of the senator's information listed. From there, once we had the database created, we started to create a, uh, started to create a voice user interface using Dialogflow. So if we come over here, we have um, a voice user interface called Congress Oracle. Uh, we have the welcome intent, and then we have the name intent. It's in the name intent that um, the end user is prompted to give the Congress the name of the congressman or congresswoman that they are looking for. Let's see if we get this to load. Ooh, that's not good. <laughs> Is the internet that slow? Okay, there we go. Um, so we have the name um, intent, and this is where the end user would pass um, a name for one of the senators. It's going to trigger, um, it's going to use that name as a parameter, um, and it's going to pass that parameter into a webhook. So down here, we have a fulfillment for this particular intent that enables a webhook for this intent. If we go and look at the fulfillment, so I have this webhook that's set up that passes um, the parameter from the name intent. So that intent that we just looked at was called name, and that's where we're passing the Congress name um, to this fulfillment or to this webhook. And we can see Right here is where we're actually passing the name of the congressperson. And then this is where we're actually doing a search on the database. We're querying the database for the biography of that particular senator. Um, and then we have the agent come back and tell me the information regarding that senator. And it's been mapped to this particular intent. Where I'm at right now is trying to map some additional follow-up intent, uh, uh, intents to get information like the Twitter handle, um, phone number, um, so different other type of function or other types of information that will be mapped to different intents. From there, um, I went over to in integration and um, activated web demo as well as dialogue flow phone gateway. Phone gateway allows me, allows me to actually assign a phone number to this particular um, to this particular voice user interface so that if I make a phone call, I'll be, I'll be prompted with the welcome intent. So, you know, 
the first phrase that I'll get as soon as the phone is answered is this text response from the voice user interface where, you know, this has been written, I've written this, where right out the gate I'm prompted, the, the user is prompted to give the name that will trigger the name intent. And once a senator's name is given, that enables the webhook, which actually, which from there it goes out and makes a pull on the database. Once it makes the pull to the database, it comes back, um, gives its reply. So that's how it works. That's the that's the you know pretty much from beginning to end how um, this particular voice user interface works.